Hello, this is Ju. Hey, look what I have here. I have a six shelf barrister bookcase. So what is a barrister bookcase? Well, as you can see, it is a standard bookshelf, but it has these glass doors on each shelf that could be opened and shut independently. So traditionally, they help protect books from dust but they can also be used as a great display case for collectibles. But unfortunately, this bookshelf has a problem. It has a couple of glass panels that are cracked, and that is what I want to fix today. So typically, the doors are held in position by either metal or wood dowels on either side. So the first step is to remove those dowels. So in some cases, at this point, you can just remove the door by sliding it out of its little slot. The door itself will have a couple of dowels that's attached to it. But in this case, there's actually a spring attached to one of the little sliding dowels that you have to remove first. And so I'm just going to take a screwdriver here to depress the dowel and the spring so I can slip the door out. So with the door out of the case, we can start examining how the glass is attached to the frame. Sometimes it's just simply attached by nails or glass points, but in this case is a little bit of a trim piece that holds the glass in place. And fortunately, in my case, it's held together with some finishing nails and not secured with glue. And therefore, all I have to do is carefully pry out the trim pieces and then pull out the nails. So you will need to get replacement glass. Either get 332 inch thickness or 1 8 inch thickness. And if you can, try to save the original glass. You can use it as a template to measure the new glass. Perhaps the scariest part of the project is cutting the glass itself. Now you can always go to a hardware store and if they're nice, they will cut the glass for you per size. Or you can try to cut it yourself. And with a little practice, you'll make the perfect cut. So with the glass back in, I'm just going to take my standard Dremel to re-drill out the holes and then very carefully tap in the nails, making sure I don't hit the glass. And then it's just a matter of reversing the process. First I'm going to replace the spring-loaded dowels on each side of the door Carefully reinsert the door, making sure that the dowels fit neatly in the slots on either side. And then replace the dowels that hold the door in place. And of course, let's not forget the handle knob. And there you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.